Welcome to MVSU News on WVSD TV. Welcome to MVSU News on WVSD TV. My name is Zaporia Watley, here to give you a few news updates on the national, state, and local level. Up first, we have the news story about Mr. Winston Smith Jr., a black man who was killed by U.S. Marshals in Minneapolis back in June. A prosecutor has said that the two members of the U.S. Marshals Task Force will not be charged. The U.S. Marshals said that Smith didn't comply as they attempted to arrest him for allegedly being a felon in possession of a firearm and claimed he produced a handgun which resulted in the task members firing at him. Smith's family members have demanded transparency in this case as no body camera footage was taken during the shooting. We all remember Minneapolis being the place where George Floyd was tragically suffocated by police, which resulted in an uproar in the Black Lives Matter movement. Despite the verdict already being given in this case, tensions in the city remain high, but as more information is released, we will be sure to keep you updated. Suicide has become a growing issue among inmates, but TDOC, the Tennessee Department of Correction, recently activated a suicide prevention hotline. Family members of inmates can now contact TDOC if they suspect that they have an incarcerated loved one who is experiencing suicidal thoughts or behaviors. Family members are oftentimes the ones who receive the initial notification and indication of self-harm from an offender. Lee Dotson, Assistant Commissioner of Prison, said, Therefore, we felt it necessary to provide them a direct point of contact to report these concerns. If you believe you have an incarcerated loved one here in Tennessee who is suicidal, or know anyone who has an incarcerated loved one in Tennessee who is suicidal, please call the 24-hour TDOC Suicide Prevention Hotline at 1-833-421-7283. We all love a good selfie, right? Well, Chattanooga just opened the perfect spot for a lot of them with its new selfie museum. The Chattanooga Selfie Museum, located at 1401 William Street, offers more than two dozen selfie rooms and walls that allows paying visitors an hour for branding sessions, professional photography, and all-around fun. You are the art at the Selfie Museum, explains business developer Brittany Ward. They give you everything that you need to come in and be the art and create the art yourself. And then, that is the art that is coming out of this museum. Ward stated that this kind of business alone will bring people in from out of town so that they can come, check it out, and experience it. This concludes my news updates. Thank you so much for watching. You all have a great day. I will see you all soon with more national, state, and local updates right here on WBSD TV. Thank you so much for tuning in to MBSU News on WBSD TV.